Hello and welcome into Talk FCB and welcome back here to another video guys on the channel and something a bit different for you tonight. I'm basically going to be playing a game between Girona and Barcelona on the new PES 2018. In my FIFA video a few days ago, quite a few of you mentioned playing PES as the camp now, which we won't be using in this game because they're away, but it has the camp now and it's obviously an official partner of Barcelona, so a few people suggested playing that at least before FIFA comes out. And this is basically just a test. I, I ordered some recording software because a lot of you want me to do the career mode so this is just a test of that to see how it goes and if you like this idea of course we can continue it in the future we'll just be talking about the game coming up tomorrow I'm actually going to play the team that I predicted and that's the team that I'm going to go with in the game so I'm going to go with Alba um, Titi. I'm going to take PK out here for Mascherano obviously Sergio Roberto at right back but that's simply because Semedo isn't in the squad tomorrow we're going to be talking more about that in the video I wanted to rest Iniesta so I'm going to put Denny Suarez in instead of him. Uh, Lionel Messi, of course, he'll be more central with Suarez returning on the left. And then on the right, Delafeo left out of the squad. So we're going to go with Alex Vidal. And that's the team that we're going to use and see if that can beat Girona on pairs today. Alright, so I don't actually know what kits we're going to go with tomorrow because obviously if you look at this, our away kit probably clashes a bit more with her owner's home kit than our usual home kit does. So I'm actually going to play with our traditional home kit in this game. I'm not sure if that'll be the case tomorrow, but I'm just going to go with that to give you the full experience from Pez, and we're going to see how this goes. Alright then, so this isn't Hirona Stadium, it's not on the game, even them I had to edit their team name, you know what it's like on Pez with the licenses and different things, their kit obviously looks a little bit like their kit actually looks, but you can still get a patch to do all that stuff, but I haven't really got round to doing that. But uh, the graphics are pretty good on Pez, at least the close-up graphics, I find they're really incredible, really lifelike, but when it's actually panned out the overall pitch, I think it actually possibly lags behind FIFA in terms of graphics but I'm gonna let you guys make your mind up on that I think the gameplay overall is pretty decent you know you can move the ball around it's quite sort of it's slow in places but I think that's quite sort of realistic at times but we're just gonna see here what the result is gonna be I am no expert on pairs whatsoever so this should pay for quite an entertaining game all right so as we go through the game obviously I'll be commenting on what goes on but we're also going to chat more about the game that is going to take place tomorrow uh, Messi of course we're hoping that he's at his absolute Absolute best. Um, nine goals already this season. It's going to be interesting to see if he can continue that run tomorrow. But I'm really interested to see about Luis Suarez. You know, we had a rest against Abar, but he didn't really sort of impress in his opening few games of the season. So I hope that he's back to his, his fully best tomorrow. But we're going to have to wait and see about that. But in terms of Pez, I, I quite I quite like it. I think the the my club mode obviously lags well behind FIFA in terms of Ultimate Team. There is a lot that they can do with that, and obviously the licenses really does hold it back. But it's not a bad alternative. I think the gameplay is, is quite decent. Um, this is where we're really going to be in trouble tomorrow, I think, on the right-hand side. I spoke about it earlier in the preview. Semedo being left out of the game, a big, big surprise to me. And I'm going to be really interested to see how Sergio Roberto can cope once again at right-back. I feel it's quite unfair on him. You know, People obviously criticise him. They'll say you know he's not played well enough, he's not done well enough. Oh. We have conceded the opening goal. Um, I'm talking away here, and Porto has come in, and we're behind. And it, it sort of feels like Hitafe all over again. We've gone behind in the first half, but but don't worry. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my act together here. I need to stop talking and focus on. But like I said, down that right hand side, we got problems. Sergio Roberto, you know, he's, he's not coming across. He's not covering. Uh, he allows the cross to come in and, and, and Ter Stegen's just died out of the way of it there to be quite frank but um, okay right so that is the warm up done with now we're going to get down to business right Busquets here come on now we can we can make we can make this work I've also put the half time as four minutes per half so we're going to see how that works out Messi from range missed by a alright just warming up just warming up just warming up we're going to get there we're going to get there but it's going to be it's going to be interesting tomorrow the game the first Catalan derby between these two ever in La Liga so that's going to be an occasion I'm sure the crowd are going to be well up for it on the day um, but we need to get into this game right now I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling good I'm not feeling you know if, if I lose this right now that does not fill me with a lot of confidence heading into tomorrow because already this feels like a taffy with 15 minutes in but we're already behind and, and already struggling, really. Hirona are getting some momentum. Sergio Roberto giving the ball away. This is not good signs of things to come. 
We just haven't got any control of the match. They are all over us here. Jordi Alba getting back there with the last ditch challenge. So we are absolutely all over the place. I have, have crumbled under the pressure here and, and this is embarrassing. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna play at the back. We're gonna start start getting some Oh great chance! And a goal! Oh, this is Ah, uh, this is this is uh, I, I I don't know what to say. I am there's not often on this channel I've been speechless, but um, I think you've got to point the finger at Ter Stegen there. Nothing to do with me. I think you've got to look at Ter Stegen and, and say what is he doing? You know, if you're going to try and play at the back, don't pass it to the striker. But right, seriously now, this is I've just I've given myself a challenge. You know. Um, I'm really going to earn my money now in a big comeback. This is going to be like PSG Part 2. And it starts with this man. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Can settle down now. Just pretend no one's watching. Just pretend nobody's watching. Rakitic from range. Alright, at least we're testing the goalkeeper. Oh, Suarez has pulled one back. Good to see him scoring. Don't worry about the celebration. You can now do that on pairs. You can sort of control your cyber celebration. But good bit of play here. Rakitic having a go on goal. Arizos parrying it out. Suarez thought he might have been offside, but he wasn't. 2-1 it is. All right, so important now that we get back in this game. And, and Hirona now we're worrying, weren't they? You know, we're, we're, we're definitely on the charge now. You know, we mean business. Great player, great goals. You know, we can do this. Denny Suarez scored in his last two games. Somehow finds a way through. Messi. Jenny Suarez again, still finding his way through, but can't put it away. Verona already now sort of wasting a bit of time, a bit of game management. Here's Rakitic again. I, I hope Rakitic plays well tomorrow. I mean, he's he's really sort of struggled when Semedo hasn't been there. When Semedo's on the right, Rakitic has seemed to have played much better this season. But obviously, when Sergio Roberto is there, Rakitic has got to have all that much more defensive responsibility. And it's difficult to play when you're sort of shackled under that. You know, you saw how well Paulinho played the other night because he had Semedo in those areas who was doing all of the work defensively. And, Semedo, and, and Paulinho could just focus on going forward. And, and that's what it must be like for Rakitic when he plays there with Semedo he just got so much freedom to sort of do what he wants to do and it must be a, a big weight off his shoulders to have somebody there like that but it's more difficult with Roberto and the team but Rakitic on, on Pez is really quite quite impressive as he loses the ball really commentate his curse there but uh, um, Titi will definitely come back into uh, what are we do what are we doing this is this is not cool this is not oh, if he scores a hat trick oh it's Duani but if, if they score another goal then we might have to rage quit an expedition match Okay, right. Look, Atletico went 2-0 down against their owner, so it's not embarrassing. It's it's fine, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm really not doing a good job playing it. Oh, jeez. We have been let off the hook there. I'm not doing a good job of playing out the back here. I look like a team who's... I look like Crystal Palace under Frank de Boer, trying to play the ball at the back with players that just cannot, cannot do it. But right, smashing the ball up to Messi. Now, that's what we've come to. Route 1 stuff. I just can't get control of the ball. This is just it's just not good. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, you know, come on boys. All right, here's Danny Suarez. He can make something happen now. No, he can't. We've been clattered. Referee doing nothing. I don't even think there's been a foul. We're nearly at half time. No foul. So you can't really moan about stoppages in this game. If that was Real Madrid, then you can bet there would still be five minutes of added time. Uh, we're, we're just not we're not really making any inroads. We've not had a lot of shots either in this half, to be honest. I think there's work to be done from Valverde at half time. We might consider some changes, but at half time, we are 2 1 down. So I'm going to make some changes in this second half where I see fit. And I think Vidal in that first half really didn't have a good impact. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put, and this is an interesting fact, and I don't know whether Valverde would consider doing this. I'm going to put Suarez on the right. Because if you remember when he joined Barcelona, that's where originally he started off. And then him and Messi swapped positions. Messi went to the right. Suarez, as we know, deadly down the middle. But obviously Suarez right now has been put out towards the left. But what could happen is that Suarez is put on the left. I'm going to put Denny Suarez into that left wing area and then off the bench I'm going to bring on Andres Iniesta to hopefully make an impact in that second half so Denny Suarez a bit further forward and Iniesta coming into midfield to make an impact in this second half in which I really do hope we can come back and win the game because otherwise it's going to be a bad omen for tomorrow and that is what I want to avoid we want to get six wins from six no matter what Sergio Roberto nice ball through to Lionel Messi little back heel there for Messi strikes it Irizos with the save, 
very uncharacteristic Messi this you know he's got so much skill so much ability of course but you very rarely see him doing sort of traditional skills you know back heels because the fact is he doesn't need to he's so good his close control is so good that you just don't need and they're giving me tips here alright Pez I know I'm bad but I, d I don't need I don't need these kind of tips bit of a waste of time crossing it in a Barcelona Roberto on the edge of the area though goes for it and it's just wide Close effort there from Sergio Roberto skimming past the post, but we still can't make that equalising goal. But we've got time, we've got enough time on our side. If PSG's come back as anything to go by in the Champions League, of course, time is nothing. You know, you can have seconds to go and you can still make it. Always believe after that comeback. Literally anything in life, anything you want to do, you can do it. Because anything's possible but we're wide open defensively I I don't know I'm 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 I am i am i must say I'm uh, not a, Ter Stegen's ter, uh, we've conceded again and Hirona and I you can see the scoreboard 3-1 uh, oh and Porto's got a hat-trick I I'm gonna rage quit I'm gonna do it I'm not one of those though to be honest on FIFA and on Pez even if I'm 7-0 down I'll just keep plugging away I, I hate quitting um, because I don't know just just keep going but really this has been absolutely abysmal I, I know a lot of people would think just just record it again but I mean why, why would I want to do that I want to give you guys the authentic experience this is the first game that I played I'm not I'm not going to hide it. I'm 3-1 down to Verona. That's, that's what it is. Iniesta goes for goal. Good save by Arizos. Messi. Oh, it's handball. That was handball. Now, I'm sorry we're being conned here. We're being conned. All right, so just over 30 minutes to go, and we need two goals to draw. We need three goals to win, so we're, we're up against it here. But here's Iniesta out onto the left now, Denny Suarez. Can he make an impact? He has done in the past two games. Denny Suarez getting to the byline, cutting it back. Lionel Messi with a strike. There is one goal. You cannot hold him down. All right. It'd be nice if I could score a goal and actually, you know, celebrate it. But we've got to have our eye on winning this game. That is the only thing that will be acceptable here. So 3-2. Both defences pretty, pretty suspect. Uh, we've just basically got to keep Porto from scoring any more goals. That is our main aim. But down on this right-hand side, Sergio Bro tomorrow is going to have a big test. Nothing wrong with Sergio Bro. I really like him as a player. But I just want to see him in midfield you know and you feel you feel for him as well he deserves a chance in midfield we saw him there at the start of the season he deserves that chance but oh dear me again I'm totally beating in the air there now Roberto Rakitic Busquets can we get things moving can we get things going here Busquets Rakitic looking for the one twos nice bit of football now Busquets looking for Lionel Messi who picks it up Messi that's not some another foul but Messi does put it in in the end Three all now with just over 20 minutes to play. And Barcelona are in the ascendancy. All right, we've got a good feeling about this now. This is this is where you want to get to. 20 minutes to go. We've got enough time. We don't have to force it now. We don't have to rush it. You know, we can play the ball around. No real worries now. And I do like this. Mascherano stepping into midfield. We've seen him do that time and time again. Messi trying to wrestle off his opponents but not working on that occasion Hirona probably happy now probably a little bit like the situation you know they went 2-0 up against Atletico finished 2 all. they obviously dropped their goal lead but they they were happy with that in the end weren't they you know a draw against that they would you know they'd snap your hand off for, for a draw against Barca tomorrow but Rakitic looking to shift the play to Denny Suarez nice cross field pass there but the defender gets across just snuff it out. All right, just over 15 minutes now to go. Rakitic, little back heel into the path of Denis Suarez, who puts in a low ball across the box. Cleared away, though, by Hirona. Nothing doing just yet. Here they come again, Iniesta, fresh as the daisy since coming on. Rakitic, Lionel Messi. Again, he's absolutely clattered. No free kick at all. Got to get the ball back. Got to get the ball if we're going to score. we got just over 10 minutes here to score. Verona are keeping the ball pretty well. Roberto wins it back. And what I want to know, it, it, Roberto, when he gets the ball there, his pace at times is incredible. You know, he really does shift through the gears when he picks the ball up going into open space. I think his pace is quite underrated. People think that he's sort of averagely quick, but I think he's a really quick guy. Oh, no, come on. You know, this is... Yeah, come on, guys. You know, you got one chance. Just, you know, take it. He was right. Mascherano coming out of defence now. Iniesta, five minutes to go. Lionel Messi getting into messy time 
Oh, Ramos time, but we'll we'll leave that. Roberto now bombing down this right hand side, slips it into Rakitic, puts the ball in. Denny Suarez coming in, narrowly wide. Ah, that that was a chance. Nice bit of play here. Sees the run of Rakitic, he just clips it in, and it's not. I thought it was Suarez coming in there with a header, but Denny Suarez it was. Five minutes uh, to go now. Should be a bit of added time. You'd hope so. We're going to need it. Where's Antonio Sanabria when you need him? But here's Denny Suarez. Lionel Messi. Spins. Nice play. He's got Suarez in support. Couldn't pick him out. Just couldn't pick out the pass there. Luis Suarez in support. No, no. We don't want to draw. I don't. I don't. It's not a good result. It's not a good result. One minute. One minute. You, what? One minute. It took us like five minutes to celebrate the goals. Oh, no. This is... No, we're going to draw. Have we got time for what? Three all it finishes. Three all. We've even unlocked an achievement for playing shockingly and conceding three goals. But... Um, uh, Portu walks off seen. with the match Barcelona ball. If there was a guy before the game that you thought was going to walk off with the match ball, it, it really wouldn't have been him. But that first half performance was difficult to bounce back from. Two goals down, got it back to 2-1, then to go 3-1 down when we thought the comeback was on. Messi, of course, getting some goals back, but overall pretty disappointed. And I have to say, um, I will take all the criticism coming my way. That was... That was a pretty bad performance. Um, but look, it was a, an interesting game. We did finish the game with less possession. I'm officially getting sacked in the morning. But basically, guys, this was a chance to try out the new recording software that I was on about. Some of the um, editing might not be particularly up to scratch yet, but obviously we're working on that as we go along. Uh, but let me know down below what you thought of this. It was a sort of, you know, sort of a bit more casual discussion about tomorrow's game, some players and having a look at some tragic defending on my side. But let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Looking forward to the game tomorrow. As always, lots more coming up on the channel on game day. We've got the lineup reaction, we got the review, we got the player ratings, everything else coming up tomorrow. Hopefully though, they can do better than I do. Certainly defensively, we do not want to be conceding three goals tomorrow. If this ends 3-3 though tomorrow, I'd be very, very surprised. But you know what? Stranger things have happened. So leave your thoughts on this kind of video down below, guys. I'll see you very, very soon indeed. But until then, as always, Vesca, El Barca. Barca, Barca.